serve Thanksgiving dinner, saying the Taliban wants to negotiate peace in America's longest war. Plus, how Air Force One made the secret trip. The monster storms coast to coast, fierce winds shaking those Thanksgiving Day parade balloons. One marcher getting knocked over. And the new storm pummeling the west. Snow, rain, and treacherous driving. A charter bus flipping upside down on an icy road. Holiday evacuations, the chemical plant disaster forcing 50,000 people from their homes. The battle to control the flames and protect the air. Choosing sides, President Trump with a show of support for human rights in Hong Kong. Praised by protesters, but vilified by China. Are trade talks now at risk? Danger on the track, the truck stalled at a railroad crossing, slammed by a freight train, unable to stop. Open for business, the Black Friday frenzy officially underway. One of the hot items this year, the Apple AirPods, where we found them on sale. The best deals to scoop up right now and what you should wait to buy. And giving thanks, a second helping of gratitude for a hockey fan, a forever mom, a sailor's return, and the gift of color. The amazing stories that are all America strong. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. And good evening. Thank you for joining us on this Thanksgiving night. I'm Tom Yamas, in for David. And we begin with President Trump's surprise mission to Afghanistan. His first trip there as Commander-in-Chief, thanking U.S. troops for their service, helping to serve a Thanksgiving dinner also, and meeting with the President of Afghanistan, saying that the Taliban is back at the negotiating table. The president's show of support for the troops comes as the recently fired Navy secretary had scathing words for the commander in chief. ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega leads us off. On a secret mission that only a handful of top aides knew about, President Trump today landing in Afghanistan, delivering a Thanksgiving surprise to American troops. Surrounded by those service members, the president announced peace talks with the Taliban are now back on. The Taliban wants to make a deal. We'll see if they want to make a deal. It's got to be a real deal, but we'll see. The president abruptly canceled those talks less than three months ago after a spike in violence. The move sparking fierce bipartisan outrage. They're dead. They're dead. As far as I'm concerned, they're dead. 19 Americans have died in combat in Afghanistan so far this year, the most in five years. And President Trump hoping to make good on a promise to reduce the 13,000 troops currently stationed there to about 8,600. <laughs> This is the president's second trip to visit troops in a combat zone, traveling to Iraq last Christmas. But this mission comes amid controversy at the Pentagon after the president intervened on behalf of a Navy SEAL at the center of a war crimes case. The Navy secretary forced out after President Trump refused to allow top leadership to strip Edward Gallagher of his elite Navy SEAL status. In the Washington Post, ousted Navy Secretary Richard Spencer calling it a, quote, shocking and unprecedented intervention, saying the president has very little understanding of what it means to be in the military, to fight ethically, or to be governed by a uniform set of rules and practices. But today, President Trump eager to show off his military support. The president all smiles as he served Thanksgiving dinner, joking about missing out on his own helping. I never got to my turkey. It's the first time in Thanksgiving that I've never had anything called turkey, but that's okay. All right, Cecilia Vega joins us now from the White House. And Cecilia, this was a highly secretive mission. As you said, only a handful of top aides knew in advance. And you're learning tonight more about that extra security that was taken? Yeah, Tom, they had to keep this mission top secret for the president's safety on a high stakes trip like this one. When Air Force One took off from Joint Base Andrews, it did so in complete darkness. The lights inside the plane were off. The window shades were drawn. When it landed there at Bagram Base, it landed in complete darkness as well. Just a handful of aides traveling with the president on this mission, Tom. Not even the president of Afghanistan knew that President Trump was coming until just before he landed. Cecilia Vega with that new reporting tonight. Cecilia, thank you. And we are also tracking two major storms tonight. One of them in the east threatened those parade balloons here in New York City. Take a look. Heavy wind ripping a hole in Ronald McDonald, taking it out of service. The Nutcracker knocking one of its Wranglers to the ground. And now that second powerful storm slamming the west, firefighters on an icy road in Utah, rescuing people whose SUV had gone down a hill. 
And on I-25 in Colorado, icy conditions flip this charter bus upside down. The storm is now moving east, threatening travel just as millions of Americans return home. Here's ABC's Rob Marciano. Tonight, high winds nearly grounding those famous balloons at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Handlers struggling to keep some of them under control. Gust shoving the nutcracker balloon, knocking this person to the ground. The wind tearing a hole in the Ronald McDonald balloon, causing it to partially deflate. Officials pulling it off the route. And on the backside of this storm, first responders in Utah racing to rescue three people in an SUV that rolled at least 30 feet down an embankment in heavy snow Wednesday. And in Colorado, a bus with some 45 people on board overturning on I-25 south of Pueblo. Roads icy in the area, at least one life-threatening injury. Part of a second storm now slamming the west. In Southern California, tow trucks pulling stranded big rigs out of the snow. I-5 north of Los Angeles shut down for hours. Driving treacherous on the 15 freeway north of San Bernardino. Coming up the pass, uh, the 15 here was um, a lot of hydroplaning and a lot of stop and go. Both storms delaying more than 5,500 flights Wednesday alone. Fears of significant travel headaches for millions heading home with the busiest air travel day of the year looming. That's the big unknown right now. Rob joins us live from just north of New York City. Rob, that new storm moving out of the west could mean trouble for people heading home after this holiday. I think so, Tom. It's really starting to expand this as the storm in the east starts to calm the winds down just a little bit. On the satellite picture, you see just how much these bookend the country, and we even had a, a little bit of rain and snow in the middle to boot. Alerts, new ones have been posted, including a blizzard warning for parts of Wyoming and the Dakotas, and storm warnings of the winter variety in SoCal with that core of the low still sits over Santa Barbara. But it will be on the move tonight, so the heavy rain will move into Las Vegas and Phoenix, more heavy snow in the Colorado Rockies, and then it emerges into the high plains where those blizzard conditions are expected to Tomorrow night into Saturday, heavy rain crossing the Mississippi and Missouri River Valleys. Maybe some strong storms during the day on Saturday in the deep south. Still blizzard conditions in the upper Midwest. And then the leading edge of this precip during the day on Sunday hit some colder air in the northeast. So Pennsylvania, New York, and parts of New England at least will start off as an icy mix, making for dicey travel there. And yet another storm on Sunday getting into the mix for next week. Tom. All right, Rob, we know you and your team will be tracking both those storms. Rob, thank you for that. In Texas tonight, families within four, four miles of a burning chemical plant forced to spend this holiday away from their homes. New video of the first explosion at the plant captured by a doorbell camera. You see it right there. Nearly 48 hours later, the fire is still raging as authorities closely monitor the air. Here's ABC's Will Carr. Tonight, firefighters are dousing a massive fire at that southeast Texas chemical plant that's been burning since early Wednesday morning. Late today, local officials pledging significant progress has been made in the battle to extinguish those flames. The situation is improving, but we are not completely out of the woods yet. The initial explosion injured three workers. The blast caught on camera inside a coffee shop. You can see a bright light flash just before the massive explosion blew out doors and windows across the area. And all of a sudden we heard a big crash, big boom, and didn't know what it was. And then all of a sudden, a split second later, the glass and windows come flying in the bedroom. Then hours later, a second blast causing a steel tower to shoot out of those hellish flames, then torpedo down towards the ground. There's a mandatory four-mile evacuation, forcing tens of thousands of residents to flee from their homes for Thanksgiving, packing up and leaving. I just worry about what we're breathing in. Tonight, instead of celebrating, they're wondering when they'll be able to return home. Authorities say they're keeping a close eye out on the air quality, and while they won't be able to find out what caused this fire until they get it out, they say tonight one thing is for sure, it is a miracle that nobody was killed. Tom. Will Carr for us tonight. Will, thank you for that. Next, President Trump caught in the middle after signing new measures supporting human rights in Hong Kong. Grateful pro-democracy protesters waving American flags at a Thanksgiving rally. But a furious China summoned the U.S. ambassador to a meeting in Beijing. Are the U.S.-China trade talks now at risk? Here's ABC's senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel. Thousands of protesters taking to the streets of Hong Kong, many waving American flags to say thank you. They're grateful after President Trump signed legislation strengthening the position of pro-democracy protesters. Two bills that threaten sanctions and penalties if China meddles with the city's rights and freedoms. 
It also bans American-made tear gas and rubber bullets from being sold to Hong Kong. Mr. Trump said he signed the law out of respect for President Xi, China and the people of Hong Kong. But Beijing's furious. The American ambassador summoned in anger. China saying it strongly protests the move, calling it serious interference in China's internal affairs and warning of strong countermeasures during a time when both economic superpowers are engaged in highly sensitive talks to end the long-running trade war. All this as the battle on the streets of this city descend increasingly into violent clashes. Move, move, move. The recent siege of a college campus further escalating tensions. With no end in sight, the protests now straining US-China relations. If Beijing hoped it could ignore or marginalize the demonstrations in Hong Kong, that's just gone out the window. With America backing the movement, it'll likely only provoke more protests and potentially violence. Tom? Chief Foreign Correspondent Ian Panel for us tonight. Ian, thank you. And back here now, some major stories. Major stores are open for business at this hour. Black Friday is already underway. ABC's Gio Benitez with some especially good deals, including where to find Apple AirPods, which rarely go on sale. Tonight, retailers are open for business, not waiting for Black Friday, many offering doorbuster deals right now, like at Bed Bath & Beyond, which opened its doors at 5 p.m., almost 40% off this KitchenAid mixer. The store also slashing an additional 25% off your entire purchase, but only until noon tomorrow. At Macy's, this 13-piece cookware set slashed 75%, now just $29.99. It's time for Black Friday doorbusters. Target offering these Beats wireless headphones for $129, down from $299. And Walmart discounting some Apple products, which almost never go on sale, like these AirPods, down to $129 from $159. With next-generation gaming consoles due out next year, multiple retailers tonight are unloading the Xbox One S bundled with three popular games for 149 bucks. And don't forget, you can let a mobile app like Shop Savvy find you the best deals. It scans a product's barcode and alerts you if another retailer is selling it for less. And if you're just sticking to Amazon this season, Camel 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 can track Amazon's prices, telling you when they reach rock bottom. All right, Gio Benitez joins us live now from Macy's. Doors now open, a lot of deals out there. Anything we shouldn't be buying? Yeah, Tom, so Macy's opened up the doors here at 5 p.m. across the country, so that's some good news. But listen, so we're seeing some good deals on electronics and kitchen appliances, but experts are telling us, hold off just a little bit if you're looking to buy toys, bedding, furniture, even fitness equipment, because you're probably going to get some better deals closer to Christmas. Tom. All right, I'll hold off on that thigh master. Gio, thank you to you. There's still much more ahead on World News tonight this Thanksgiving Thursday. Dueling Corvettes, police investigating dash cam footage posted on social media, appearing to show a father and son drag race. There are arrests, plus the championship Patriots' latest opponents, the flu, tackling nine teammates and counting what we're just learning. And that truck stalled on the tracks. We'll have much more. If you have moderate to severe psoriasis, little things can be a big deal. That's why there's Otesla. Otesla is not a cream. It's a pill that treats plaque psoriasis differently. With Otesla, 75% clearer skin is achievable. Don't use if you're allergic to Otesla. It may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Otesla is associated with an increased risk of depression. Tell your doctor if you have a history of depression or suicidal thoughts or if these feelings develop. Some people taking Otesla reported weight loss. Your doctor should monitor your weight and may stop treatment. Upper respiratory tract infection and headache may occur. Tell your doctor about your medicines and if you're pregnant or planning to be. Otesla, oh, show more of you. As a struggling actor, I need all the breaks that I can get. At Liberty Buchimo. Cut. Liberty Bibberty. Cut. We'll dub it. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. I found a way to relieve my constipation that's both gentle and fast. Dolgalax liquid works naturally with the water in my body to provide gentle relief in as little as 30 minutes. Stimulant-free Dolgalax liquid puts you comfortably in control.